it's Gav here from danceplanet.tv. Thanks for tuning in as always. Today I'm going to be carrying on with my predictions and schedule for the World Starts Championship. This particular one is on Saturday the 16th of December. We've got two sessions on this particular day. So loads and loads of darts coming your way. The first session starts from 12.30 in the afternoon. The second session is from 7pm. Both have prelim games as um, the previous day and which as we know are the best of three sets as opposed to the best of five with the winner of them playing in the final game of the afternoon and evening session. Just before I go any further, I just want to say to you, I'm feeling mega Christmassy today. I got up this morning and this is behind me. This is the view from my um, front door. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's snowing really heavy. My dogs haven't seen much snow over the last few years, or if any. My kids love it, so we're going to get out and have some fun this afternoon. So I am feeling really Christmassy and buzzing as always, and I'm looking forward to taking you through my predictions. So as you can see, the predictions are here as always always the first afternoon session starts at 12 30 like i said it's saturday december the 16th and the first prelim game um i'm gonna go through this now and give my prediction so we start with the prelim game and that is between alan i'm not even gonna say the surname there because i'll probably get it wrong against brendan dolan best of three sets i think this one um again i don't know much about alan i'm not seeing him play much but dolan i think He's got plenty of experience on telly. Unfortunately for Dolan, he has really gone down over the last few years. And I'm being honest, I'm worried about him dropping out of the, you know, the real, real top. Well, I think he already is, to be honest with you. Um, so he needs to do really well here to sort of move up the rankings a little bit. But I do think with his experience, he will get through this prelim game and win 2-1. We then go on to, uh, this is the one I'm nearly looking forward to, Benito van der Pass against Steve West. Now, we all know how good Benito is. Last year, he was really threatening to do awesome things, but he hasn't had such a great season this year. Steve West has had loads more TV time um, over the last year, you know, is breaking into TV tournaments more. So getting that experience, I think that this is going to be a really close one. I think that Benito is doing a run in a tournament and doing really well. And I've just got him to edge this one 3-2. Then we go on to Mervyn King against Zoran Alec Bakker. I might have said that wrong as well. But uh, Mervyn King being a local boy, as you all know from my other videos, I'm a Suffolk lad. I'm very proud to be Suffolk and I always want to see the locals do well. Mervyn King, as we know, is a massive practicer of the game. Had huge back problems over the last few years, but he is lethal on his day. And I know from speaking to other people that in practice, he is amazing. If he can bring that to the Worlds this year, who knows how far he could go. I wish you all the luck in this one, Mervyn. But I've got him down to win 3-1. Final game of the afternoon is Robert Thornton, and that is against either Alan or Dolan. As I've said, I've gone for Dolan to get through that one. Whether he will or not, I don't know. But I've gone for a 3 1 win. I think that Dolan or um, Alan are going to be good enough, whoever comes through that, to give Robert a, a, a game. But I've got to stick with Robert Thornton because I think that he will have enough to beat either of these players and go through 3-1. So that wraps up all the afternoon sessions. You can see my scores here, which I've gone for, but I'm gonna cover the whole day in this one video to save making two. Makes sense, doesn't it? So, right, we're then gonna go on to the evening session, which starts at 7 p.m. So I'm gonna have all my snacks and drinks, and I'm gonna be right ready for that one as well. So we start off with Jeff Smith against Luke Humphreys. Now, this is a really tough one for me to call. I, first of all, I went 2-1 to Luke, then I went 2-1 to Jeff. Then I thought, no, I think Luke will come through this one because I heard lots of good things. But then I know that Jeff's a really established player, so I'm going there and there and there. But I have decided, after all that backwards and forwards, but I think that Jeff Jeff Smith will come through this prelim to play Gary Anderson in the final game of the day. I think that he will come through this one 2-1. We then go on to Joe Cullen against Jermaine Watamina. Now, Joe Cullen, we all know, is a really, really, really good player. I so want to see Joe bring this to the stage, especially at the Alley Pally on the biggest platform at all. I know he can do it. He's got the talent. I can't see Jermaine having enough to beat Joe in this one. So I'm going through for Joe to win this one 3-1. 
After that, in the third game of the evening, this is the Dutch derby between Jelle Klassen and Jan Decker. Now, until recently, I would have put Klassen to win this one easily, but Decker, obviously, in the Players' Championship, he performed unbelievable against MVG. Um, and I see dancing that I hadn't seen before. So I'm going... I, I'm, it's going to be a really, really tight game. And I'm sorry, double decker here, but I'm just going to have to go with the Cobra to win this one and scrape through it 3 2. The final session of the evening is the, you know, the world class Gary Anderson. Love seeing him play. One of the most natural dark players on the planet. He's then going to be up against either Smith or Humphreys, whoever come through that one. As I said earlier, I think that Smith is going to edge it. Um, but whichever one Gary Anderson play is focused back on the darts now. I can't see any of them getting anything off him at all. And I think that Gary Anderson is going to win this one 3-0. So again, here are my results as you can see for day three. I'm really looking forward to it. Again, just before I log off on this one, it's Saturday, December the 16th, two sessions. Um, really action-packed day of darts. If you like my video, please give them a like, guys. Subscribe and share, as always. And don't forget to check out dartsplanet.tv. Um, as always, I'm going to be back tomorrow for day four with the next video because I'm going to be doing all the predictions. And I've had a few of you asking about whether I'm going to be doing results and the highlights of the day. And hopefully that is a big fat yes. So that's all for now, guys. Thanks as always for tuning in. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.